Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to run you through PSRing a festival file into your touring file. Now, this file that I've got in front of me is from the 2022 Dance Valley um, Festival in Amsterdam. This file was built by the production company running the festival. Contact was uh, Gabian who was a great uh, contact to have. He sent me through this file and this is basically what you get. It's, it's an empty file, except for you do receive obviously the patch, which we'll have a look here. Uh, everything's broken into picture types, all patched for you. So basically when you get to the festival, everyone's using the same patch, including the house technician. And it just saves a lot of uh, confusion and time wasting trying to figure out what's what. Sometimes you'll get a file that already has, if we look down here, I'll just add a layout pool that has a bunch of um, layouts already there for you. But sometimes you don't get that. All these companies are doing loads and loads of festivals every day, every week, every month. Sometimes they don't have the time to just be able to just put together layouts. So, but that's fine because they have, um, if you can see here, they have, uh, put together a, a stage view for us. So we have all the fixtures broken up. He's got the fixture numbers as well within uh, the, the group. So, you know, if I choose the blinders and highlight them, there's all the blinders or the vipers, so highlight all of those and move them out. You can see all them. So everything's there, everything makes sense. Everything's easy for you to understand. So now all we have to do to prepare ourselves. So this is the pre PSR stage, which uh, is basically you're gonna get the file. So you might get a file like this from a festival that's empty and not cluttered. Uh, and I guess easy to work with. It's like a fresh slate and you're just doing layout views. Sometimes you'll, you'll uh, get a file that has uh, which is uh, say a club's file or even a house LD for a festival. They've done, they've done their updates. They've gone to the venue. They've got gotten their file to a point where they're like everything is clean, positions are clean, all your your inverts are correct, and that file is great because you could then obviously PSR in positions and colors and strobe speeds and all of that. But we don't have that here, so I'm just going to quickly show you. We're going to make a couple layouts here using the stage view and then uh, we might make a couple presets uh, a couple strobes a couple colors a couple gobos whatever we'll make a couple things that are gonna we're gonna be able to bring in in a partial show read after so it might start by let's just doing some layouts so uh, you can see there a lot so you can literally just select your fixture when you have a stage view store it under a layout and it puts it all in a line but this is where the stage view makes all the difference. So generally when I request a show file from a supplier or a front of house tech, whatever it may be, I'll either request that they do layout views or that they have a stage view. Because yes, they can, if it's small enough, they can send you just a plot and you can put them kind of in their place and stuff. But when the festival starts to get busier, in terms of fixtures and placement, all of that stuff, you really want to push to get um, all the information you need in the file rather than going off what you think. So you can, uh, within layout, you wanna hit setup and hit camera. Now this is using this camera here. Now you wanna choose, all right, so if you look at the stage over here, your best perspective fixture wise is from the front because it's, you wanna, you wanna do what's gonna be best for your selecting fixtures. So for example, with this, if I was to choose, say top view 2D, and hit apply that doesn't help me because they're in a line you don't know where it is perspective wise so let's go back in and you want to choose something that's going to um, help you know where things are perspectively so that's perfect that's what it looks like from the front and that's that fixture done you can resize them obviously after let's try something different the vipers which there's vipers above the stage so it's a different perspective you want to use so let's choose the camera again and let's choose like we did before let's choose front view say for them and you can see in the stage view that this is the front view here so if i hit apply again it's it's not helping me i'm never i'm not seeing fixtures behind so you really you're really just choosing what's going to make your life easier so if i go top view 2d and then hit apply and zoom into fit boom that's that's your layout of the vipers 
and it just saves a lot of time. Uh, we'll choose a couple more fixtures to do. Spiders, so your washers. Again, set up, camera, top view 2D, apply, zoom the fit. Cool, they're just along the front truss. What else do we have? So there's a mixture here. So this is where it can get interesting. This is where you want to try and break fixtures into areas. So he may have in the patch, no. So this is where you got to kind of figure out what fixtures are what in terms of location. So this could be a, a good time to open up MA3D even. That view before was a, a 2D view, so which is which is great, which is fine, but also it doesn't doesn't really help you when it comes back to um, seeing depth. So you can see there's some that you want from the front and there's some that you want from the top. So this can be a time where you go, all right, maybe you select them in MA3D and that can really help you. Obviously, sometimes you don't have 3D available. There are other ways, obviously, to do this. I'm just trying to make, make sense of it. So you can select it like that. You can, even if you want, just chuck them straight in and see what the... Uh, oh, so let's go back to front. Let's, and choose what is the figure it out using this the camera view so if i go say front 2d view and zoom in so if we're looking here maybe so it looks like maybe these ones can stay like oh no so they're the ones who want to change if you just grab all of these right and go camera top view hit apply obviously you might need to move stuff around but now you've got them in their position so this is your stage you know rear and front and then you have the left wing, center wing, uh, center, sorry, and right wing. So now they're all laid out neatly. Obviously you can't really see them currently, but once you start to bring them up in size or whatever, yeah, now you could see your fixtures, just makes it way easier. So we've got a bunch of groups there. So that's probably enough. We could we could do more later. The good thing about PSR in as well is you're gonna bring in this whole stage as well. So you can do this after if you need, but it's just good to get it all sorted prior so you're not messing around within your file. You just wanna focus on cloning and making sure that your file's gonna gel well with theirs. So now we've done that, let's just add some different preset pools. You probably wouldn't do this if you were just left with this. You wouldn't make presets and bring them in. You could probably just use your own. But just for the purpose of this exercise, we may as well just do some of it. So let's just say, choose those fixtures and Point them out. Cool. So some of them are backwards, which is fine. Probably the vipers are always seem to be backwards. Yeah, cool. Point them out there. But vipers, spiders, cool. So say let's make that a straight position. Let's even do a sky and floor, whatever. So let's say, you know, that's a straight and fly position. That will do. And then let's choose some colors quickly. Just try to give us something to work off of. There we go. Red, blue, and white. Colors are done, and then we'll just do some zooms. Zero, and then 100. So now we've got some presets. That's pretty much at the stage now of needing to clone. So let's save this as a new file. So you want to actually make sure you label it as PSR ready, say. Uh, just so you still have that base to start off if you've made any mistakes. So let's save that, and we'll go into my file. You've got all of my stage. You are gonna be bringing in all of their fixture stage information. So first thing that I'd suggest straight off the bat is just turn everything off visibility wise. Empty stage, and that's how you wanna basically start. So let's let's resave this as, so I have my name and then I have DV PSR in save. We're about to PSR in. So the first crucial part of PSRing something into your file is making sure leave the session. So obviously you don't want to be PSR if you're in show. And that opens up uh, to being able to bring everything in. Also, just another heads up, your fixture files, you want to make sure they're nowhere near the 100s or the 1000s mark. What I mean by that is you don't want your, your profiles to be, you don't want them to be like, you know, 701, 702 or, or like, you don't want your smoke to be 1001 or 1002. You just want to put them just off because all the house guys, I've never, I haven't had any clashes except for some clubs that do random numbers. You, you never want the numbers to clash when you're PSR because it's just not going to work. Also, I almost missed a big part of it. You want to make sure you unpatch everything when you're on the road. You probably have a file that's already ready and unpatched. That's ready to go. That's ready for PSRing. So let's open up and start the actual PSR process. Partial show read, 
initialize. Let's hit that and let's find the one. So PSI ready, you know what one it is. So let's load that all up. So let's have a look through. So see all their fixture numbers, how they're in the hundreds and the ones. None clash. I keep going up. None of them should clash. Yep, no clashes with mine. If that's all good, literally all you want to do is wizard it in, merge other. Everything's on, everything's ready, and you want to go prepare. And that will start to merge all their fixture data, including stage into your file patch stage picture number everything so that's happening now the bigger the file obviously the longer it will take so now that's done the important part before as i was saying about turning off your session is because if you don't this option will not work and that has happened multiple times that still happens to the best of LDs. So make sure you turn that off so that this becomes available and you can open this page. Now this page is literally their file with everything that we just made. So you can go in and find their positions. So you grab those, you can move them to whatever position or move at wherever you want. So let's just move it at 16 and go add those two positions from their file that they made when they did their sound check and straighten fixtures. Now you have those positions to reference. Say with color, add selected. If you want the groups, you could go Go in and go there's all those groups you could you can grab all of those move out they're all in focus you want to bring the, the focuses in you can add them and then layouts this is the big one those layouts we made those layouts are there add them you've got all those layouts everything there is now within your file you close that now if we look sorry on this page you have all these layout views within your file so now that's there you can start actually work on the show now don't freak out don't think i've done something wrong there's nothing there you have to make sure you turn your session back on another thing that it's so easy to forget going back into session loading there is dance value added to your file now you've got all those fixtures there that you could now control it's very similar and also if we have a look here it also brought through presets for us if you just go and choose that group that we made it's got those colors we made and it's got those positions that they made and then that is when you could go ahead and i'll just just for your reference i'll maybe do it so maybe that fixture i might not use as a beam maybe i'll use that fixture as a spot or something but i might just remove it just for purpose of it uh, and now you just kind of want to try and do some sort of symmetrical selection so maybe those six you can do as a selection i'll just do a quick cloning the beams done let's just check how they look so if i choose all of these fixtures here cool they're all backwards which obviously is annoying but look i've got this now to fix it so i can just go update all my positions to that um, or i could have sorry or i could just go uh, straight disable the pan and then update them all so now it's there i can still use my my pan offset see what i did there i chose their position say let's just say that's too high so that's their straight position that, that we've taken if you select that and then turn your pan off and then update i've got a macro to it but update all your positions it will update only the tilt so now fan is fine but the tilt's being updated if that makes sense so that worked go through colors actually we're ready to do show actually so let's go and use it now i could just do as i want make it all orange see that my pops work yep they're working fine make it all do circle uh, it can go faster but yeah you can see it's all working it's all fine make them brighter so yeah everything there is is looking pretty good colors work lovely chases all work and look good so everything's there everything's working let's turn everything off put everything back even you know i've got drop looks that Yep, they work. So everything there's working the way it's supposed to. So that's that's pretty much all we're all we're after here. And now you're pretty much, you know, good for show. Obviously, you got to update your, your your presets and stuff when you get to site. But that that's I've just brought in all these fixtures and started cloning, and it's worked. You just got to make sure you do the correct selection that you want, and everything will work as you plan it. That's that's pretty much the basics of PSRing in a festival rig. If you've got any more questions about it, feel free to write them in the comments. I have tried to 
skim through this. I hope, you know, there's enough detail to follow, but that's basically like the front to back version of how to PSR in the best Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and um, I'll see you in the next video.